Hello, I'm Ed Trillism, and welcome to Planet Zoo, where our zoo is doing uh, okay. Bisons have figured out how to cross the river as well now. Yo, look at the little bison calf. Is it calf? I assume it's a calf. Yo, So cute. Right, anyway, uh, we need to have another, I think, th three, four, four species, and we need four exhibits in the zoo. No, we need another three species. One, two, three. Four. Yeah, we need three more. And we need four exhibit species. Exhibit species don't actually have like large habitats like this. They just have a box and then they stay in the box. Um, the cynical amongst us might say, oh, they just did that so they could have uh, more species in the game without having to do the complicated animation and so on that you get for, you know, having a calf do this. Aww. Right. Let us do a habitat thing. Um, not a habitat thing, an, ex an exhibit thing. Exhibits need a little bit of space. Nowhere near as much space as that, but I kind of want this to be a fancy exhibit. So I don't think that's going to be enough space. Um, we could use that. Don't know if that's going to be enough space. Tons of space here, but that's maybe too far away. The space here. Again, bit too far away, maybe. I guess if we want to start filtering people this way, we should at least use this space, so... We'll do it. Right. Is that flat? Flat enough. Let us... Uh, I'm going to unpause the game, actually. I'm going to leave it going until we get a decent bit of light. We want... An exhibit. Three grand for an exhibit box. It's pretty expensive. And what we want is a bit of space around it so we can filter people in and out. A bit like we did down here for this. Almost exactly the same setup. Square. And then exhibits. I mean, we could possibly do something like that. But I'm kind of worried that because this slopes, the game's going to complain that it's not flat. Technically, we can terraform by doing this. Because that's made the ground flat now. Uh... Oh, hello. Offspring's about to happen. Exit. Ooh. Path. There we go. Flatten that bit of ground. Look, you have to get inventive with a scenario if you actually want to do any terraforming. We've done some. Congratulations us. We can always mess with this path a little bit. Uh, I'm thinking what we do is... Oh, um, exit. There we go. Now we can rotate. Something like that. And then dupe, 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 and then move. Oh, and of course, you've very helpfully created paths around here, which I don't want. Uh, I guess we'll just delete this path for now. And I guess that path as well. Look, you're making this very difficult for me. Align to grid. There we go. That's pretty much exactly what we want. Right, deselect grid. And then that goes there. I 
And that goes there. I'm pretty sure this isn't going to be possible, but we're going to try. Look, like you had, you had a blue for a moment. There we go. No, that's not possible. One, two, three. Um, and we'll connect that as well. There we go. So this is our exhibit. It is empty right now. So let's go buy some animals. And we've got four of them. So we've got a load of spiders. We had a load of centipedes. I'm assuming you're a centipede. Centipede, yeah. Let's look at what gets the most views. Diamondback rattlesnake. Brown snake. Puff adder. Of course, these are all uh, for credits and stuff because they're really good quality. We probably don't want to be paying conservation credits. We're trying to save up for something really cool, like a like an ape or something. Puff adder, eastern brown, iguana, iguana, common death adder, Gila monster, anaconda. And a bunch of scorpions and spiders. I'm thinking we go for the snakes. Because the snakes seem to have pretty good views. Now, obviously, we can't go for, you know, conservation credits. But if we open up the Zoopedia. Data deficient. Really? Okay. Temperature. Humidity. Group size 1 to 5. Promiscuous. Okay. Right, well. Let us grab a puff adder. That's one. An eastern brown. Two. A male puff adder, that way they can breed. Common death adder. We'll get a female eastern brown and a pair of yellow anacondas. And then what else do we have? We had an eastern brown. No, we, we, it was eastern brown. Path adder. We got a pair of path adders. Did we get a pair of eastern browns? We did. Oh, it's the death adder we don't have another one for. Well, it might we just have to be the way that this goes. Um, yeah. Okay. So then... We request animal and... There we go. We've got path adders we can put in. Path adders go in there. Yellow anacondas Go in there. Eastern Browns go in there. And unfortunately, our one Death Adder goes into here. We need another Death Adder. And there we go. We've got four exhibit species. Uh, now, you'll notice that they're complaining a lot. And that is because we need to set up their habitat. Right now, it's saying, hey, I like humidity around like 85%. My temperature actually is okay. There we go. Keep the temperature of that. And the humidity. This is annoying that you have to scroll to get to here. It's a very basic control. I, I know they want to be like, look, we've got this lovely radial dial, uh, but uh, just a linear bar would be fine. You've got a linear bar up here. I know it's like, hey, if we make it a linear bar, it's too easy to set it to the right humidity and temperature. Well, come on. We've got 88% on you. Uh, also, the UI isn't particularly quick. Like, I click on that. That change over time is, what, like 0.8 seconds? Maybe a bit more? Like, maybe a second? I know. Just got into the game, and I'm already complaining about... Uh, let's see, 28. Uh, UX again. I know, I know, I know. You can't stop me. Uh, and humidity, we'll put that up.
Humidity will put that up as well. Oh, you're having off strength. Here we go. No. Oh, we already had the offspring. There we go. Hi there. Oh my god. Your gold status. Nice. That's really cool. Okay. We have ourselves a new calf. And it's a male calf, which is not going to cause any problems whatsoever with males, like, competing for dominance. <sighs> like in the zoo. Like in clubs and bars in the real world. Okay. Waldo. Maya. Your silver. Ooh. Lady calf. Man calf. Brilliant. Right, you are going to be Sela Men. And I don't think we named you, did we? You will be Lots of Spoons. There we go. Right. And you're hungry. Well, it would help if we actually had the food that we needed here. Now, if that's the only complaint, that means that all of you hit the right climate. Oh, no temperature's slightly off here. There we go. Now you're complaining about layout. I imagine everyone's probably complaining about layout. Yeah. So, uh, layout. You can get enrichment items which will improve the layout. Basically, you get like uh, stones and stuff for them to hide under, etc. We're going to have to research those. But for now, I kind of feel that we shouldn't have a glass wall between the snakes because it might make the snakes want to, you know, attack each other or something. Also, it's going to mean people are going to come to the front here off the path and be like, hey, I can see everything and stop here. And I want people to filter around. So we're going to close those windows and then put a 3D facade on it so it looks pretty. We could use a 2D facade, but yeah, I prefer the 3D. Do the same over here. Also, uh, why do I have to click OK after hitting 3D facade? It's not like it's a big decision. I can just undo it. It doesn't even cost me money. This is a perfect example of where you do not need a confirmation box. Drop downs don't normally have confirmation boxes anyway. This is actually just really, really weird in terms of a UI. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, E's going on again about UI and stuff again. It's like double the number of clicks, though. Ugh. And there we go. That should work a charm. And people will hopefully love that. Uh, of course, it's not done until we can monetize it. As any good capitalist knows. One... Two, three, um, line to grid, decent grid. I wonder if there's any way to, no, okay. You just got this weird bubble there. We don't have the bubble over here. Oh no, we do. It's just really tiny. 
well, we'll put the bin there then. It annoys me that it's not symmetrical, but whatever. Um, what else do we need? Maybe some bins, maybe a bench or two. And then we also probably need some info boxes. So yeah, put a recycling bin there. Recycling bin there. Recycling bin there. You know what? We actually need a couple more recycling bins. Nope, that one is the wrong place. Oh, yeah. Slopes. I hate slopes. They're the worst. And then we'll also put a couple of benches in just so people can have a little bit of a... Uneven? Okay, fair enough. A couple of sit-downs there. And then we also need exhibit stuff. Um... For you, that means educational exhibit board. Because these are basically what goes on exhibit and tells you what's in them. And then if I select this, we can say yellow anaconda and then it will give you the education stuff. We can also put a speaker in. I think I'm going to do a bit of prettifying this off camera. Just a little bit of a play around. Back in a sec. Oh, welcome back. So, I have... Uh Put in some exhibits around everything. I've also put in speakers. You see there on, on the corner. And each speaker is just about covering that area. I think we'll also put in a bit of an asphalt roof. And then because I think it's missing something, we'll Maybe try... Has it got like a pillar or something? Ooh, ooh, do we have a snake symbol? Snake. Have we got a flat that we can put that on? Like an editable sign. Sign here. And the sign text, um, snake pit. Snake pit. Uh, it's not snake put, whoops. Okay. Hi. Sign text. Snake. Hit. Text should be white. And the edge could be like an orange. Oh, that looks terrible. Um, just go for like an almost black outline. That'll do. Where's my snake? Where is my snake? There it is. Yeah, you know, we'll put it up here. It's not like you're actually going to see snakes up that top bit. Centerpiece. No centerpieces. Quite like a rope on there. Don't think rope is the key here. What I'm looking for is, like, some kind of pillar. Aha! Is breeze block the only way? We'll have, like, a plaster pillar or something. Kind of want a timber one, but we don't get that until later. You know what? Sure.
And then we'll just lower that a bit. And then duplicate. What's duplicate? Is it control D? Right. Down you go. Down you go. And down you go. Oh, you also need to be like put in position because that one was terrible. There we go. Overall, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, we'll need to name you to Puff Adder Exhibit. Yellow. Anna exhibit. Just when the inspector goes around or someone's like, hey, I need to go fix the whatever. Death at... Uh... We actually know where they're going. Because I would be like, hey, exhibit four is broken. I'll be like, east what? East brown snake exhibit. There we go. And hopefully people will like that. Because we've got what? Seven different exhibit animals in a very small space? There we go. I'm going to move that bin so that people don't have to continually walk through it. They're turning already. Looking good. Uh, in that case... Where do I get... ATMs? Oh, guess I had that stuck on something else. Okay. I'll put an ATM over this side, actually. People who go for the ATM might end up walking around and get interested in all the things. All right, so far, so good. You're hungry. Well, that would involve us actually feeding the buffalo, which never seems to happen. Yeah. Uh, we'll raise the prices a bit. And... Staff. Yeah, keepers are just ridiculously overworked. I have... Eight keepers? And they're like, hey, I'm overworked! Uh, I don't know how. I don't know how that can be the case. I genuinely have no idea how they're managing to be overworked. I mean, probably just because they keep huts up here, I guess? That they're always walking to and from? That's, that's my only guess. But what am I meant to do to hide them? Like, hiding the staff building? Do I have to... I don't, still don't know about that. What's this? Oh, vet research. Oh, the bison and the tortoise. Plaything, education, food thing. Mating, food, education, plaything. Excellent. Let's actually increase the quality of the food then for you. Barrier status is 16%. Dear Lord. Make you great too. We're going to have to hire more people. More mechanics. More vendors. More vets. Okay. And mechanics. And caretakers actually okay. Keepers. One, two, three, 
for five. We're going to hire a whole load of keepers. We'll also probably want to put in like the food court -y type thing that I was talking about. We could do the same as we've done here with the food court. Pretty tight object and we can put it here. And there's no staff room. Okay. Um, you know, I might have a bit of a Google and see like what qualifies as... What qualifies as hidden? Because people keep complaining about the officers being able to be seen. People are liking them. Yeah, we need another staff room. You know what? I'm going to have a bit of a Google, and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what counts as uh, blocking line of sight to a staff facility, but there is a heat map for it, so what we can do is we can run a test. Let's grab some trees. Okay, it's not line of sight, because... That's not really doing anything. So. We now know that this is a problem. And that's actually having a massive impact. Over here, you'll see this doesn't actually have an impact. People aren't caring about these buildings. I've been thinking it's been these buildings all along. But actually, all the complaints have come from these buildings. What we're getting is people walking over here going, hey, saltwater crocodiles, and then complaining. For instance, we look at like, who was it I was looking at a minute ago? Someone over here was a great example. Where are you? So what crocodiles? Makes me cross when they don't tuck the staff facilities out of sight. And the staff facilities are ruining my experience at the zoo. So yeah, people are going to the salt or crocodiles and then being like, yeah, this is really not nice. I, I don't like this. I don't like seeing all these things. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to remove these. Uh, which is annoying because remember how we specifically designed this area so that this would be a thing that we didn't have to move? We're going to have to move them. Kind of sucks. So let's look at our power zone. We're going to need a second one. We need one over here and one over here. Could probably tuck you out of sight up here. Or underground? Wait, what? Oh, because we used the uh, build it in part of that um, group. What we'll do is we'll place it over here. On the hillside. We should be able to get a staff path to that as well. And then we will duplicate. And then we need another one around here. I'm tempted to put it up here, but that's not good enough. Uh, it's just about good enough. And then you. We need to affect both the water here and the water here. This one's actually going to be the tough one. But, here's the rule actually. It only needs to overlap part of the water in a habitat. If it overlaps part of the water in a habitat, because the water flows around, it will affect all the water. So actually we could put it like here and it would affect all of them. Um, could we place it up here, part of this? Oh, 
That would just about count. That wouldn't. It's floating, you know what? I can't. I can't do that. It looks dumb. Too dumb for me, and that's saying something. I'll even move you. Right, and that should be good enough. You're hungry. I'm visiting. Hi. Hi, me. Hey, it's me. Hello, me. Someone's saying I have to click the hello button to get a, like a free credit or something. I want to see the yellow anaconda. Ooh. I have a hundred dollars. Sweet. I can eject me. I'm heading to the snow leopards. As I should be. Okay. Right. We need to check. Buildings. Those aren't having a negative impact? Oh, negative impact on guests. There we go. There is a slight overlap here. We'll just move you back ever so slightly. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll probably also want to do similar with a staff hut and a few other things. That's the keeper hut, yeah. Okay. Can I keep it far enough away? Right, that might be far enough away. It is not. Can't do anything here. Um, putting a keeper hut over here actually might be fine. Yeah, because they have a really small impact compared to the utility buildings. Might be because they've got cladding? I wonder. Because these have got cladding, let's attempt to place down a facility that doesn't have cladding. Staff facility. No, it's not because they have cladding. Cladding doesn't do anything. Okay, um, we will want to remove that and then hook up. You know, it's probably easiest if we do. You know what? Solid. There we go. Path. And wait, six. I want to go ahead. Nope. Oh. Passing this can be really annoying sometimes. Like, can I turn off snapping? I can't turn off snapping. 
There we go. I'll do. And that gives the staff hut over here for accessing some of this. I'd like a staff hut over here. I'd also, well, sorry, a keeper. I'd also like a staff room somewhere as well. Um, I guess we could put a keeper up here. I'm just going to duplicate. It's probably easiest if I do that. Boop. It might look a little ridiculous. Okay, not as much as it flattens the ground around it. See, I can do terraforming. Just to trick the game into it. Um... Guess to do this drop, we're gonna need to. not be able to. Okay. That was so close. Okay. Go! There we go. That's fine. That looks fine. That's absolutely fine. Don't question it. It's fine. Uh, we'll delete this path while we're here. I'm tempted to just delete this path, make it look a little bit less wobbly. But that would mean having to move everything on the path as well. I might do it between episodes. You notice I did fix this end bit and I put a path in here. Well, I was paused a minute ago. Um, you know, we could put a staff hut over here. It's probably small enough that it'll fit. Right. That looks weird, but the game likes it, so whatever. Maybe if I turn off snapping, it won't look quite as weird. Nope, always gonna look weird, okay. Sure, we can we can be fine with that. That's fine, this is fine. Yeah, plenty of room. Seriously, Keeper, come over here. I think we also might duplicate that. And we have an animal diseased. No! All the vet. 40 packs, don't be ill. There we go. Hey, you managed to walk in the water. If I got rid of that, where are you going? How do you get out of here? Is 
social stress. You're super stressed. Why are you super stressed? Because you're getting seen by everyone? Oh, yeah, feeling a bit better now. Okay. Why is your welfare so low? Because you haven't got any food. Well, here we go. Finally getting some food. That is a lot of food to just fit in that bucket. Gonna do the other one? Oh, you're just gonna walk in a circle? Nope, you're gonna do the other one. Okay. Yeah, the snow leopards are getting pretty stressed. Um, trying to hide. We do need a way to hide them. I think maybe we just put one of their like toys. A little bit further back. Whoa, no, you can still get up there. Okay. Please don't escape. That would be awkward. I feel we should maybe make some adjustments to that. Hello, me. Please don't jump over the top. Oh, and I have managed to box everyone in. Uh, I want to try and build one of these that doesn't involve everyone escaping, because that would be a little bit awkward. So what we'll do is we'll grab you, delete. Grab the basic wooden shelter. And I know this is the same problem, but... What if we then... Edit. Ah, uh, well, wrong one. Try again. Edit. Control D. And we just make it higher. That way they won't be able to get on top. Anyone who has a cat knows this is probably a forlorn hope, but, you know, got to try. Ah! Right, and then... Whoop. And then we're going to bring it back down a little bit. Just going to make it just above the wall. There we go. Then habitat. Large and small nesting material. Unbox all animals. And hopefully they'll be okay with that.
Look at them all go. They're just like, oh, we've eaten all the food. We were desperate. Sorry. And the keys are okay now. Okay, we're good. And of course, it's the tortoises with the low welfare again. Um, is it stress? It's stress. There's not a lot we can do about that if we want to continue having this. And this is good. Like, we should probably just put money in here and just say sod it. Like, this pays. I'm not even going to put anything else in but money. Snakes are pretty popular. We gained some research on the tortoises. Research and so on. Great. Right. Oh, you're such a big crocodile. Let's have a look at see if they're actually going to see the snakes. You can see them there, just sitting around. Where's the snake here? I mean, I know snakes are meant to be camouflaged, but... Where is the snake? This is the death adder, right? Common death adder. It is in there. Yeah? Oh well. Uh, we will... Do some mechanic research and I think what we'll do is... Is there an exhibit one? Habitat, barrier, African theme, transport rides... Shelters and climbing? Staff facilities, larger keeper hut, large staff room, large quarantine, large research. Um, like I want all of those. But I guess we'll just go for that for now. Shops and climbing. And we'll put someone else on staff facilities. Not that I think we've got two mechanic huts. I think we only got the one. We should get a message about that in a second. Research center... Research center. Trade center. Workshop. Yeah. Snakes are pretty popular. Ooh. Almost a thousand people in the zoo. How's our money situation? We are turning a profit. Pretty decent profit. Marketing. Still doing marketing. Okay. Well, in which case, it's uh, setting up new habitats for new animals. Have we got anything interesting on the market? The peafowls we could do. Again, those are people walking and they stress the hell out of them. Nala. Sable antelope. Timber wolves. We'll probably want to do wolves next. I know people have been wanting me to do wolves. The problem is they need such a large area and you can only ever have, like, I think it's two of them in a group. Pronghorn antelope. Do we have any pronghorns? I don't think we do. No. What we could do is have sable antelope and... Is it Nyala? And wildebeest? Sable 
Sable Antelope. Not Pronghorns, but Sable Antelope and... Wildebeest actually work together. Oh, damn. They need a huge herd. Minimum seven. One male, 31 female. Okay. We can do that. How much space do you need? 410. Ah, oh, not that much. You'll need a heat to stay above 8. Uh, minimum 1.25 meters high. That's easy. Grade 2. And what about the sable antelope? Can we click them from here? Yeah. Pretty easy, pretty easy. One male, one female will be fine for you. Okay. Yeah. We can put a sable antelope down along with some wildebeest. I think that's going to be next episode, though. So for now... I've been to Elysium. The snacks are pretty popular. Uh, we also got to put down some snacks. Snacks and snakes. It's going to be this little area. We're going to call it snacks and snakes. Now I have extra shakes. We need a shake. Well, we don't need shakes. We've got like gulpy soda. I'll have to do. Um, this is popular, but it's stressing them out. And this is pretty boring. Bleh. This is also pretty boring. This is more of like having a square enclosure. It looks looks kind of meh. Crocodilies. People are pretty happy with the crocodiles. You're also a really heckin' chunk of a crocodile. Patrick, you are huge. They are very happy crocodiles, though. Very happy. Look at that welfare score. And you are totally hidden, and no one will complain about you being on that hillside. I like this bit. It's a little campus. So, I've been at Aurelisium. Hope you've enjoyed today. If you have, like, subscribe, do the bell icon, leave a comment down below. And next time, we're going to create ourselves a large enclosure for some sable antelope and some wildebeest. And that'll be two of the species. We need three more. So we could do that and then probably just put like a small enclosure down for some peafowl or something. And when we go for gold, probably get a bear enclosure. And wolves. Why not? Hell, we could put wolves of our third. Yeah. Uh, for now, I've been at Stay shiny.